Little wins, right? Yeah. I did it, and there's Tom. Secret play. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. All right, here is the new Multiplex Twin Star that uh, John got me for Christmas. Let's open it! Actually, that'd be more of a forfeit flag, you know? I just can't believe it. <laughs> both sides. Oh, now there's a box within a box. Now we're getting somewhere. Twin Star 2. Twin Star 2. And the first question you might have is, how big is it? Well, I'm going to pull out a wing here. Here is a wing. And here is another wing. And as you can tell, this is not a box opening. I've already been into it looking at it. So there it is right there. And I believe that is about 140 millimeters. Anyway, so there it is. And you can see that the wing doesn't quite go out. Now the... Uh, the Skywalker wing is is almost 1900 millimeters. It's 1880 millimeters. So this is about 140 millimeters. So it's not quite as big as about uh, you know, what would you say, six inches or so left off on, on each side. So it kind of just but the surprising thing is the wing cord is about the same as a Skywalker. You see that cord? It's just about the same across the wing right here. So it's got that's how it gets its lift, I guess. So there's the wings right there. So here's the cross section of the body you can see right here. It is very similar to the Skywalker that it has two halves with a bunch of cavities in the middle. And if you put it together and hold it up against the Skywalker here, uh, you can see it's about the same width. The only thing is the walls are kind of thick on the body. So these thick walls tend to reduce the amount of space in there. So we're going to have to work with that. But it's a, a commonly used plane that's been made into an FPV plane by many people. It's very sturdy. I think it's EPP foam, I don't know. But it's very sturdy. Looks well, like you can paint it too, it's got windows and stuff. Yeah, on. it's got, it actually comes with a set of decals too. That's in the box right here. It has the windows right there. And the, hmm. uh, the windshields and all that kind of stuff. And Of course, if you're making it into an FPV plane, you may not even use the canopy because you may be putting a pod on there, but it has this cockpit thing that goes right there. So, I'll put all that back in the box except for one wing. And what I want to talk about is I've already got into trying to figure this out as far as the uh, motors fitting into the nacelles here. And what comes with it, believe it or not, is a brushed motor. And it comes with its uh, own little plastic holder here. And that is supposed to fit right in the nacelle in here like that. It doesn't appear like there's much down thrust or anything on it either. It just It's just pretty horizontal there. But of course we don't really want to use brushed motors. So I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, Sunny Sky motor here. And this is a... I picked this out and ordered it special. It's a 2212-9 and the KV rating is 1400. And these have the Japanese ball bearings. They're very smooth running. And they're very similar size and weight. Maybe a little less weight, actually, than the motor that came with it. So, But they're about the same diameter. So what I've done here, you probably see this fitting I've got on here I'm using for a motor mount. What that is, it's actually an inch and a quarter PVC plug. This Wait, is it an inch and a quarter? Yes, it is an inch and a quarter. So if you go in here, measure that right there. I don't know if you can zoom in on that, but you can see it's inch and a quarter outside diameter. Hmm. Now it might be inch on the inside, but I don't know. It's a little less than an inch, but inch and a quarter outside and about inch and a quarter long too. So 
that's what it is and you can get them at the hardware store and what I did was I took the motor mount that came with the motor and just used that as a template to drill the holes like that so I won't be using this motor mount and then I just take the motor and uh, screw it right to the plug right there with some these are some screws that actually came with a quadcopter they're uh, mm -hmm. machine screws I use an Allen screw to so tighten So it's up. screwed on kind of like how the quad coffers are, right? Yeah. Screwed directly to it. You just take an Allen screw and just screw those on there. I haven't even put any Loctite on them because they're so tight. I actually mm. sanded the top of this to make it smooth because it was a little rough. It had some lettering on it. And uh, I smoothed it down. And that also helped the screws to go all the way through. So that's it. And now... I plan on gluing this in some, into the nacelle right in there, probably with some silicon glue uh, RTV, which seems to work pretty good with this kind of foam. It's that rubber stuff that they put around uh, tubs and stuff like that. It's clear silicon cement. I use that a lot to glue this foam together because uh, it takes time to dry, gives you time to move things around, and when it dries, it really sticks. So. That motor will sit in there about like that, and I can clamp the prop. Now, you want the props to be counter-rotating, so what I did was I bought a counter-rotating threaded prop mount for the other motor, so one's going to be going the normal direction, and the other's going to be a counter to that, and you can order these. They're from Sunny Sky and it's just simply threaded the opposite direction from the one that comes with the motor. So I'll replace the one with the up for the other motor with that. So I'll have one prop going one way and one going the other way for counter rotation, hopefully taking away any torque roll that might be generated. And so that's where I'm at. Next we're going to try to figure out the power system, maybe uh, get it to where we can fly it, and then later we're going to pick out a flight controller for it. So. Anybody has any ideas what would work best with this plane? Maybe I've even got the wrong motors. I don't know. You can let me know. And uh, just tell me what you think about the whole thing. There's the uh, tail for it right there. Of course it doesn't go on that piece. No. It'd be kind of silly to glue it on there, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and here is the horizontal stabilizer with elevator. So you can already see those will have, probably have to be cut off and then hinges be put in. I'll probably use some pin hinges to make them work really smooth. But I think this plane will make a really nice FPV plane once it's configured right. Now I've heard there's another plane that's come out on the market in the last few months and it's called uh, My Twin Dream. And it's, a, it's bigger than the, uh, than the Twin Star and it's more the size of the Skywalker but I really think this is better for me because I've already got a Skywalker I don't need another plane that big so I just thought I'd go with this slightly reduced size plane comes with a pretty good manual as far as assembly and with a lot of detailed pictures yeah so that's kinda handy okay so you all let me know what you think give me a thumbs up if you like it and if you're not subscribed please subscribe and uh, just Tell me what you think of this, and we'll see you on the tube. Yeah. Keep your play.